invisible audience. That is that is good. Very fun. I highly recommend I, it. I do like talking to an invisible audience. And that's kind of what we're doing right now because we're live. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are we? <laughs> Hello. Hi, everybody. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Did we actually yeah. pulled open? Yeah, we did. We did some cold <laughs> open. <laughs> R.I.P. in peace. Us. Hi, hi, everybody. Uh, welcome to. Let me tell you about my character. Uh, I am Alina. Uh, I will be your artist de jour, uh, drawing some bespoke characters yeah. today. I I've got to draw me bespoke. I will design them to your specifications. Oh, I'm like what a super manic. What length is my hair gonna be today? I don't know. <laughs> It will give you one curly hair, like Charlie Excellent, Brown. Excellent, yes. Also, McCray's here. Yeah, hi. Oh. <laughs> You're also I'm going to be smiley. Uh... I'm usually smiling. I get more wrinkles each time I do. Last time when we had Pat, uh, he was a <laughs> you have one Doug hair. Trio looking. Yeah, that's that's exactly what my hair looks like. That's... Good. It's like you've ne- it's like we've uh, seen each other many times. I think. Correct. <laughs> Only I, was just the one. <laughs> I said I was going to give you one curly hair. I know, I just didn't believe you. It's a on steroids. <laughs> it's very then, thick. It is one very thick hair. And then we have a lurker back here. Don't we always? We finally just put him in the stream because otherwise he wouldn't stop talking to us. Why do you look like a potato? What have I done oh, to God, you? Oh, God, wait, that's perfect. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Every... Stream I watch. I'm just in the chat and I'm going. And I'm just going. <laughs> you have the biggest smile and no ears. No, I'm giving you ears. And looks incredibly menacing. <laughs> 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 Can you give him a little knife? What? Why do I get a knife? Because I'm he looks like he would be. Uh, he looks like that. That looks like a serial killer from an '80s movie. <laughs> he has a knife I on mean... his arm. Perfect. <laughs> This is a this is a throwback to a long time ago, but like Newgrounds back in oh yeah oh yeah two thousand and one had all those. Uh, it was a very specific artist. I'm trying to remember his name. Are you talking about had the it, Stickman the Stickman games? Stickman. Not quite Stickman, but it was like super super early animation days in Flash. Uh, yep yep. And it was like one of those endless fight kind of dynamics. I remember I look. Oh exactly yeah, like I remember those. those. They have like a cross for a face because it was very biblical in its imagery. Yep. It was like clearly an ex metal kid trying to be real cool. God, I remember watching those at animation school. We would like pull up yeah. those Newgrounds animation fight scenes and just like watch those on loop oh, to God, get yeah. an idea of how fight scenes worked. And we were like, this is great. This is great research. The OG, man. Yep. You were in animation school. I was being shown it by my older brother in elementary school. <laughs> <laughs> and that is because I am ancient and eternal. And I am a baby. <laughs> An um, actual baby. baby. Oh, what? <laughs> I just found a um, blueberry on my floor with my foot. So that's fun. That's very exciting. Yeah. McCray, you want to pick, uh, pick a thing? Yeah, yeah we should draw stuff. Thing. Let's draw some stuff. You make characters on the show, right? is, this a, is this a drawing Sometimes. show? Oh my god. So, well, well, one third of the group currently draws. <laughs> Um, how do I, yeah, pick, how, is it me? Because I don't know. I don't know if I'm up for is that. Is it me, Jesus? Um, <laughs> it's a me. It's a me. Alina, hello. Oh my god. <laughs> um, yeah, McCray, if you want to pick us a number and start us. I'm going to take the blueberry uh, smush off of my foot. One, two. One through 45. Ooh. That's a lot of numbers. I had to, okay. I had to clean I out to. the Unearthed Arcana stuff. My list. I have to choose 42 because it is the answer to life and everything. That's true, it is the answer to everything. <laughs> I don't know why you have that. That is. If I can choose a number, it's usually either 69 or 666 or whatever, like the dumbest shit is. Nice. <laughs> I am a child, but not in the way that you are a child. <laughs> <laughs> 100%, but I, I, I have... sponsored the Tabletop Titties, and I put in 6969 as the Patreon amount. <laughs> Just the Wait, that's really good, though. <laughs> nice. <laughs> um, well, your choice is a Triton, which I think... Ooh, yeah. that's Tempest-themed. It's, it's very Tempest-themed. That's We're very... Doing, uh, this is hurricane-themed one. This is not my bit. It's an old bit. But can his name be Herman? 
Herman Triton? Fish Herman. Oh, good. Good, good, good. No, don't do that. Don't do that one. <laughs> I mean, we are known I for mean, some dumb names on this show. <laughs> I mean, you are the progenitors of such names as Kickstab and Kickstab! Thunder McKing. Yep. <laughs> I don't don't talk about Thunder McKing like that. I love her. <laughs> I love Thunder McKing. <laughs> oh. Okay. Uh, um, Kickstab. Uh, Kickstab is great. I love Kickstab as a name and a concept. Okay, well, Meta, Meta wants us to name the Triton Ethel, which oh. I think is... Ooh, I like this. I like That's, very good. That's a good Triton name. So we're going we to fish gotta, today. We gotta, we gotta what, see what this What class is. are we doing? Fact. Fun, real dumb mm-hmm. fact. Um, all of the air transports in the Central Universe, which is the universe my book that's coming out next year is set in, are named after old ladies. So they're all like Agatha, Betty. Ooh. <laughs> So I dig Ethel quite a bit. Ethel's a good one. Oh yeah, shout out to Henri, the uh, the oh, hurricane the... that touched down uh, in New York today. I don't think we actually ended up getting uh, the hurricane. I think we ended up just getting like a tropical storm. Ah, gotcha. But it was supposed to be really bad, and then uh, where I am, it just kind of rained. Are you inland? Because they do peter out once they hit land. I mean, I'm in the in, in New York City. Which is not super inland. <laughs> I mean, Manhattan itself is an island. It's true. <laughs> um, Famously. <laughs> Famously an island. Um, well, I've drawn just down. some some rough Triton shapes, but we need we need some more to go on. I've they look very s- fancy already. Sort of a fam, you, uh, but I don't even question. know the gender of this person. Oh, true. Okay, uh, McCray, you can pick, you can roll a d12 or a d4. D4 is is our way of doing gender. Yes, uh, and correct. D12 is for uh, class. D4, D12. Yeet. Yeet some uh, dice. On the D12, it's a five. Okay. And on the D4, it's a three. Cool. Gender, yes. Gender, yes. This person so is what? gender, yes. This person is gender, yes. So all pronouns? All pronouns. Sure. I feel like an all pronouns kind of vibe from this figure. What, you know. what do Triton like classically look like? I have never actually played in a campaign. people. I mean, okay, so Triton. there are three different people that basically just look like humanoids with blue skin and and weird ears. And they are the Triton, the um, uh, Water Genasi, oh, and the Sea Elves, which are all like just blue people with long, fishy kind of ears. <laughs> So, so the Zora kind. Yeah, friendly. basically. Yeah. Like very, none of them similar. are actually like I think only the marrow are the actually I am like I have a fish tail kind of people. And they're evil. Yeah. And I think there's yeah, also I sirens see. which are like I'm a mermaid. I'm just straight up a mermaid. Okay. I want to give this person a fancy classic. uh anglerfish head. So that's just happening. Oh Ooh. can they be deep sea? Yeah. That would be badass if they had If a bunch they of ever come birds. up out of the water, they will be a hideous blob. I have just Dude. added a terrifying head on this person. <laughs> I, I it may or may not stay. Time when I'm world building because there is a fucking underwater sea cool. uh, city. I have to figure out who populates it. And now I know. Okay, I want, I want more world building people. from your game because <laughs> I still don't know. You've referenced the Kingdom of Flowers many times, and it sounds fascinating, but I know nothing about it. That's yeah, great. It's utopia. Nice. Let's go live there. <laughs> the non-industrial yeah. utopia. That's the where high, we're all going to... Let's retire it's there. We're going to retire there. Um, you um, rolled a five, and that's a cleric, by the way. Which I could not accurate. want to, though. Uh, because they have that whole, you know, giant monstrosity problem. I mean, them and, and Garganta are always... By the time that we're ready to retire, I'm sure it will not be a problem. Yeah, cool. we'll all be because... either, like, gods or <laughs> just so weird it doesn't matter. <laughs> or you can just throw my lifeless body into a that's field our, of that's... flowers and hope for the best. That's the adventurer's <laughs> retirement plan. Just hurl yeah. my body somewhere nice. <laughs> yep. Pretty much. Really. Have we done too many clerics at this point? We've got a higher than average amount of clerics. We've I mean, got at least two. Is that it could be a Tempest cleric? Is that. Is that oh. Hard? I mean, it could be a Tempest cleric. Yeah. I mean, I, it's, okay. it's Tempest Day. It is Tempest. Famously, it, it is Tempest Day. 
Um, is also, Tempest? is that her last name? <laughs> Ethel Tempest. <laughs> I kind of like that, though. I like it. Imagine if people's names were just like, ah, yes, it is me. Human Storm. Like, I mean, I love those old school, like, thou shalt not sin, Herman. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Those are, those are fascinating names. <laughs> Ethel Merman. Ethel Merman! <laughs> Ethel Merman. Yes, correct. <laughs> that's that's oh, who this person Merman. is. Ethel Merman. Ethel Merman. I mean, I kind of agree, because they have that, like, movie star kind of yeah. vibe to them yeah, already. Yeah. That's true. Um, I love the shit of BoJack Horseman, and I'm getting a lot of BoJack Horseman vibes. Yep. See, I was thinking... I, I do uh, like the Undersea episode of BoJack Horseman, where he's silent, but no one else is. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> that's show... a... Oh, broke me so many times. Oh, yep. uh, um, Bioshock. Why is that what I thought? <laughs> um, because it's very night. It was like like a nineteen thirties kind of undersea utopia, you know? Yeah. Very similar. There is that BoJack episode where they go to Atlantis. Yep. I love I that. I've never seen BoJack Horseman. Oh, it's a lot. Oh. Yeah. In fact, oh, it's okay, a lot. So you put me onto the good place. Yep. And I it's watched The Good, good Place, and it was really fucking good, and it broke me a bunch of times. Uh, oh, man. It's like, been the story of my life, is that show. Uh, <laughs> but go watch BoJack Horseman. It will be the same thing to you as The Good Place. Mm-hmm. Um, fair, fair warning, though. I It took me a long time to watch it, because you the the everything builds up, and you're like, oh, no, this is terrible. Oh, he's an awful person. I hate it, but I have to keep watching. I need to take a break, though. And so it took me, like, months yeah, because it's just very that's, hard. That's just what I've heard is that he's kind of the worst. Like specifically, what I've heard is that uh, if you meet someone who tells you that they relate really hard to BoJack from BoJack, oh, it's a problem. That you that's should a, run, run away. away. Run away. That's that a problem. Like, mm, mm, interesting. The show is about being problematic in your depression and anxiety and yep. these uncomfortable issues. things. Yeah. And see, but like, that's a real thing and i want to talk about a fish person yeah with with just a weird face i've given them a weird face now they oh, look yeah. like skeletor <laughs> i'm okay with this i fucking love skeletor and he is an idol and a mentor you, you want to do a 1930s film undersea film noir uh skeletor, skeletor. Merman? yeah that was a lot of words right then um <laughs> I'm, gonna say, I'm sold <laughs> i don't what know what a vibe sold. This you person is a is a vibe. I like them. I want I want I want Skeletor as a as a movie star. Yeah. You know. Do you guys roll for like alignment and stuff on this show or? God, sometimes. Sort of. We don't do. We sort roll of. for vibes, my guy. Like is this person, good or mood. bad? Mood. This person simply is. <laughs> <laughs> I bring in. We, some we give them life. Skeletor they choose vibes. their own path. Oh, they need they need <laughs> a a helmet. I like one of those shoulder uh, uh, things like Skeletor has. Ooh, yeah, yeah. like a with mantle. a little, like a little mantle. But that's oh, got to let gray. their their uh, dongle. This the shiny glow thing. What do you call that? The dongle. A the one. dongle. The um, dongle. Their angler. Their angle. I don't know. Their bait. I, I guess. I like how they have a little mermaid style friend with them. Uh, yeah. Yes. That's their familiar. We have to give them find familiar now. And it can be this, a guy, think, this guy's name I is Meat. It's... His name is Meat. I love meat. it. Meat. <laughs> can it be can it be spelled like you meet someone though? So everyone thinks it's really if intimidating meat, and then he's actually meat. like, no, he loves meeting people. Yeah. If Meat was a person, his name would be Craig. Yes. <laughs> meet like, Craig. In actuality, this is the friendliest familiar. That ever existed, and yet yep. everyone is very. He afraid. looks cuddly. He is. He looks really um, soft. Let's see. We've got history and insight as proficiencies. We would generally roll for divine domain, but I think we're already thinking I think we're tempest. tempest. Yeah. Yeah. Can, this like weird it, skull-faced tempest cleric. We have gotta do tempest cleric. It's uh, uh, it in honor be. of Omri. See what it would be. Let's see what it would be. Hold on. Gotta find all of my different tabs. So, like I said, I'm running my first uh, session in my homebrew game today, and 
It's only for three people. And here's the best part is I let them all choose what they wanted to be separate from each other. And they're all magic users. And oh, two of them chose Tempest. Oh my God. So I'm like, cool. we need to have a conversation, y'all. Yeah. I would just link them together. I'd be like a tempest sorcerer and a spores druid, and I'm like, all right, nice spores druid. Yup. What the? I like spores druids. They're cool. To be fair, very nature themed. Yeah. You can just be like, here's eco socialism, the campaign, and it basically. You're kind of not wrong. Hey. I I would also be like, hey, you are uh, uh, all from the same druid camp. Like this is, you've came, you you trained (laughs) together. Yeah, fuck your tavern. <laughs> you all know each other. Um, let's been... see, if I didn't... Don't start in a tavern. That is actually the one D&D trope I hate so much. <laughs> Never start in a tavern unless it's a one-shot. I hate doing I that because it means do, that nobody honestly. knows each other, and they have no reason to trust each other, which means you get some boring role-playing for the beginning while they feel That's out true. and see if they can trust each other. I just like throwing characters into, like, you know, bonding situations, like a war front. Yeah. You yeah, know... Yeah, uh, we missed on that. We were we were just like, hi, we live in the city. We want to join your adventuring group. <laughs> Cassie got a kill, actually. In the very first episode of Something Wicked Ever, Cassie Thorne killed a Kabbalah a Barbarian, which are like 100 health, you know, whatever. She was just clever enough to figure out that her vicious mockery hurt them more when they raged. Yes, yeah, she Oof. bullied them to death. <laughs> she literally bullied someone to death in the first episode of the show. That's on brand. It was designed to be a kill box that like was unwinnable. This oh. lovely creature, Ethel, would have been a death cleric. On the surface. Which I think is accurate, but I mean, we are you choosing be... Tempest cleric. Can she, can she be We've chosen chaos. Both? Tempest uh, cleric of Tempest and death. Yeah. Just give her both. I like that we always choose chaos. <laughs> always, <laughs> obviously. Uh, speaking of chaos, pick a number between 1 and like 67. Oh, wow. Um, you had to deny me by two numbers, really? Yeah, exactly. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, let's it's literally choose... the amount of feats that I have. On... We don't oh, have 69. Okay. Let's choose a good old 35. And now Reliable. I will... And now I will start counting. Hold on. Talk amongst yourselves. We gotta, we gotta <laughs> excel this so you can just, like, scroll to scroll, uh, or cell 35. Yeah, like, control F. Is what yeah. I do for the word doc for the show. Oh, smart. Yeah. That's why I have 15 tabs open, though, at all times. <laughs> yeah. How do we <laughs> feel about this being a mounted combatant? <laughs> yes. Ride a, ride a third anglerfish. How Hell many yes. anglerfish can we fit into this? No, Ooh. a gulper eel. Meta has asked uh, uh, how I... Um, what does it tell you about their sex life that this person is a anglerfish triton? And I was like, that's why they're gender fluid. Because they are yeah. both male and female. The the male oh. is just there under their robes. <laughs> it's just gonads at this point. By making them both Tempest and Death Power. Tempest of Death. I mean, you, you can they worship the Black it's Tide. Ethel is flip? clearly both. Did yeah. They flip, flip back and forth. Mean, yeah. As they feel. Yep. You know, I think that's I'm on brand. Yeah, I'm yeah, feeling the, tempesty. They yeah. roll. At the start of every day, they roll to see what, <laughs> what, how they're feeling. Good. Perfect. Death in one way or death in a different. Okay, cool. Today, I feel like death. That rides a gulper eel. Good. <laughs> oh, or no. I don't know. Is there a more badass undersea deep sea creature? Goblin shark, maybe? Oh, goblin sharks are great. I love their weird jaws. And goblin sharks are really cute. What about a cookie cutter shark? I like them a lot. <gasps> They're very cute. They just have little teeth. They just take a giant chunk out of you and then nom it. They just, They're, They're just hungry so little cute. boys. They're like goblins of the sea. The uh, the dumb bit I want to see is like a giant clam. <laughs> it's super badass Wait, can and they... super deadly looking and they're just riding this giant clam can you please can she can she ride a clam yes like in Baba Yaga's cauldron kind of style yes <laughs> I'm gonna draw the giant clam oops sorry buddy oh no my bird was under my arm and I, I bumped him how oh, sorry, buddy. dare you buddy jail for mother for 1,000 years. years correct oh, jail what is 
I love me. <laughs> yeah, I'm way too much. Basically, if it's a, a Cartoon Network show, I probably like it. Have you? Is I don't know if Cartoon Network. Is, wait. I thought it was just a Tumblr post. Nope. No, that's yeah, good old uh, Lord <laughs> Lemon Grab. Oh, Lemon Grab. Oh, the Lemon Grabs. Yes, 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 yes. I love the Lemon Grabs. Uh, voiced by Justin Roiland, who now runs Rick and Morty with uh, Dan. Oh, Lemon. yeah. They're all like that's the other thing about the animation industry. It's just super incestuous. Oh God, yes. A good show, and then yep. <laughs> they're on everyone else's show as either a voice or they have their own show within three months. Yeah. Uh, yes, and this is so I was doing voiceover classes uh, and learning about that as an industry, and in fact, essentially, like you the way it was maybe. explained to me is that like it's it's easier to get into like commercial voiceovers because there's always going to be another one. Like somebody's always going to make another commercial. Yeah. Um, yep. And it is infinitely hard to get into like narrative voiceover. And uh, it was specifically somebody in the group asked about like mocap stuff for video games. And they were like, they, there, there are so few things that, 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 that they up. just end yeah. up it's using like people that they know movies. and trust that can do well. And I'm yep. like, that actually makes a lot of sense, yeah, honestly. Like, you just can't get into that. It's, uh, you're either in you it know? or you're not. You I know. family in the industry, and I'm, like, this entire time I've been doing all the writing stuff and all the, you know, Wicked and Funko stuff. I've been like, do I do I call my cousin? Do I do I do that? Because that's how Hollywood works. Yep. And I part mean, of me is like, no, artist it, integrity, yeah. fuck it. Rise from Are the you, hey, movie. hard stop, zero. That is a terrible idea. If you have any kind of connection, you exploit that thing into the ground. Are you kidding me? No, um, in other news, I made my family take what D&D character am I? And they all got good alignments and I got chaotic neutral. And I was like, mm, I yeah, this is correct. shocked no. and appalled. That's, yep, that's not what I would I'm have predicted. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm not shocked. Chaotic neutral is a hundred percent Maggie. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yep. Hundred percent. Oh, my candle. I think I, I sh- am chaotic good. I I agree. I think and people always good. think that they're like, really? You think you're you're good? And I'm like, yeah, I, I think so. I get real sad if things are bad, and I don't I want like people to, to be mean. I'm chaotic <laughs> good. But I also know that I would absolutely ruin someone for my own personal gain. That's fair. Like, wow. I know That's this fair. about myself. Oh my god. Depends <laughs> on how much I like them and whether or not they've wronged me in the past. But those are also very chaotic neutral answers. Well, I mean, I'm just soft and I want everyone to be friends. <laughs> oh. To be fair, no, the D&D alignment be... system is janky as we all know. Oh, it's it's the worst. It don't time. don't it put is. any stock in it. <laughs> and again, it's, I think the whole chaotic versus lawful is more relevant than the good and evil. Yeah, I because like this. lawful evil characters are some of the most fascinating D and D characters because even yep. if they're doing really shitty things, you know they have a motivation for doing it. Mm-hmm. Could be real shitty motivation. Could be a but real. But they still have you know, a reason. Yep. Same They're with just... um, lawful good being villains. Yeah. hundred percent you can have lawful villain, uh, sorry, lawful good Oh, God, yes. Villains. Uh, and should, because, like, that's a real, that's a real choice to make. Dogma, man. Dogma yep. makes people do all sorts oh. of crazy things. Yep. Oh, look at, look at this <laughs> hey, good what's boy. what's the hey, important ability score for a cleric? Because I always think it it's is wisdom. wisdom. Is it, is it I wisdom? thought it was wisdom, okay. yeah. Um normally like clerics are interesting because you can build them in a bunch of different dumb ways their spell casting is always wisdom but in terms of dump stat um a lot of people turn them into just because i think tempest and war clerics can wear heavy armor so they just mm-hmm. dump everything into constitution and wisdom and just have them be walking you know tank spell casters but you can build some really neat like dex build clerics that do some cool stuff especially with some of the more naturey spells that you get from the ranger list and druid list as I appreciate a Twilight big dumb boy. A big, bo- big big dumb boy. And that's yeah. really... Okay, let me... I'm going to tell you the the ability scores that I have rolled for this character. We can, we can place them as they will. Um, one option is to literally just, in the order that I rolled them, that's where they go. Yep, that's where we always get some weird dumb characters. Um, in that case, what we got is... 
Uh, strength of 14. Dex, okay. of, dex of 16. Oh, well. Okay. Constitution of 7. Oh, boy. Okay. Intelligence of 8. Wisdom wow. of 11. And charisma of 10. This is cool. Not a good roll. Cool, 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 cool. When have you ever known us to make good characters? Yeah, no, that's not a thing that we are capable of. <laughs> I mean, I mean we're capable of. I had to play was that for spells. In in my defense on that one, it would have been much worse if I had used my computer. I literally did that on a plane and just picking them at random. <laughs> I, I like how you're, I you're arguing that you made it easier on me. <laughs> I did because uh, it was. You know, human interference as opposed to like rolling a dice. Yeah. I love true random though, to be fair. You want to pick another number for me? Any like, of us I'm are guy... fans of randomness? Oh, God. I'm the guy that when I play Super Smash Bros., I just go on random and people yep. are like, you're, you're just trolling, right? I'm like, I, I just have fun playing random shit. And then you I'll get to play Jigglypuff. For whatever you want. Yay, yeah, Jigglypuff. <laughs> Actually, if one of my favorite. Okay, what is characters. what is what if you had a main? What would be your main? Uh, this is gonna sound real dumb, but probably like Luigi. Oh, good, good, good. <laughs> you look like a Luigi kind of person. His little jab, that his little sense. smash jab. Where it's he, like, fun. Oh, that makes sense. Is yeah. Super powerful. <laughs> like his smashes are so good. His B abilities suck like beyond anything aside from the tornado. Mm. But, uh, you know, um, that or Falco or probably Jigglypuff. Just cause, Jigglypuff. You know, punch. And then you roll out people. It's good times. Yep. I like Yoshi. I'm terrible at um, Smash Bros. I just I just like the noises Yoshi makes. He's very cute. That's true. Hello? Um, right Hello? <laughs> Someone's breaking into McCray's house. Uh-oh. So. Uh-oh. <laughs> so, I love I love that. Right? Ethel Merman. We still need a background for them. Yeah. Hello? 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 Wait. What is happening? <laughs> who, is, who is he talking to? I don't know. <laughs> oh, he's probably got his headset still on, and then he just, like, muted it. Good. Perfect. Let's talk shit about McCray while he's dealing with something. <laughs> Sorry, I thought I muted my mic. Oh, can you, can you scream hello? Someone knocked on my window and someone called me, but... Oh, I am what? Low, so I cool. I yeah, did. Sorry. We did. We did hear you. That was a thing. We were we were concerned. <laughs> Good that I mean... this is using the wrong microphone then. I hope I haven't sounded like complete garbage this whole time. As a result. No, nope. it didn't sound like whatever. You... I don't know. I think oh. you sound fine. How mm-hmm. do I now mm-hmm. though? Ooh. Much better. Oh, <laughs> that's silky. Yeah, that's that's. I've what got I some was... radio voice going on there. Sorry about that. That should have been from the start, what I was using. How dare you? Uh, I had to roll something before I had random people come and try and talk to me. <laughs> uh, just pick a number. 1 through 29. 1 through 29. Mm-hmm. I think... Oh, meat. I love meat. 16, because that's when you get your driver's license. Interesting... I like I like your reasons for picking numbers. I know. <laughs> it's very good. What are significant numbers? I was going to go with either 19 or 21 because it's drinking age. Right, right. Okay, uh, let's see. Ethel Merman. Ethel Merman is a knight, or was oh. at one point. Oh, cool. I like that. That's pretty neat, actually. You know what? You know what? Ethel and Meat are, like, right at the top of the screen, and they're going off, so the whole stream can't see them. I am... Pushing them down. I bringing them down to my meat. level. Meat is so cute. <laughs> I think that meat deserves a knife. Oh man. Just like in his little jaws. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Wait, is this happening? Can it happen? I think first of all, every every everybody deserves a knife. Um Yep. I, I like how you just try and give knives to every single new character. How do you yes. think we came up with Kickstarter? <laughs> you tried to give me a knife? You tried to give... <laughs> Everybody needs a knife. Look, look. That fish the needs a knife. Here. The, the fish has a knife. Look at that. The fish... <laughs> you I would think meat going to shake you. <laughs> and then you he has think... a knife now. I'm so stoked for this happy little familiar. 
Number one is that you would think that the dangerous part of him is his jaws, but no, it's no. the knife. Um, and two is that I got the best backhanded compliment slash insult I've ever received in my life was somebody that told me that I would be really funny if I wouldn't if I stopped laughing at my own jokes. And I think about it every time. <laughs> I can't stop laughing because no. I think something's funny. Sometimes the laughter effect is what makes the I joke think it's funny. It's funnier when you laugh at your own jokes. <laughs> yeah. When Isabel lost it over Gregory the Wiener Dragon. Oh that my was god, the funniest yes. part of oh that my entire god, bit. Yes. Was Isabel unable to state a, a very big <laughs> sentence yes. for like five minutes. <laughs> Meta literally posted the comment that is what I'm thinking. It's, oh, pretty light. And then a shank, like, oh, you see the light? You get drawn in. And then you get the shank. You get stabbed by a fish. (laughs) 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 Might be my favorite character that you've done in this show, and it's not Ethel (laughs) Merman. No, it's it's just meat. Meat the (laughs) fish. Just a fish (laughs) with a knife. I love love him so much. (laughs) Oh, Ethel Uh, Ethel, Merman. So this I thought also... it was a knight. That's weird. Yeah, no, no, it's actually, it. it fits because they have the animal rider feet, right? Yeah, that makes sense. So it makes sense there. They're and not then... riding meat. They can't. No, they're going to ride, ride the giant clam who's going to be behind yes, them. Yes, 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 yes. But that also actually, for stats, it's actually sick because of action economy. That means they have a familiar an extra thing to control oh, yeah. and they can do their own thing on their turn. Oh my god. So this is actually a pretty beastly character. Yeah. See, that's why uh, you can be here, because I'm just thinking about how much I want to give this fish a knife. <laughs> uh, I'm not thinking about Dungeons and Dragons at all. I just no. think it would this, be really fun to knife. this fish a knife. You know what this fish needs is a knife. <laughs> if you don't look at something, like, every day and say, wow, that thing needs a knife, then I'm sorry, we just... Mm, incompatible as humans it's fair no. i'm glad fair. you live in new york because i feel like i get stabbed if i were in the same room right now i have many <laughs> knives myself thank you that does not allay my fears that makes them worse <laughs> you think i'm gonna stab myself i mean i have been kind of like just poking myself with a with a, a push bin while i've been sitting here and that's true no, <laughs> so you, just, you just have to like just can't just can't not stab no can't not bad stab. Maggie. no stab no what Look, how I does, was how raised do clams. <laughs> I was raised to stab. This is not true. Um, born to thinking... stab. Born to stab. Born to be wild, like, but it's actually like born... kick stab. Born to kick stab. <laughs> born to kick stab. I always think of the whenever I see clams, I think of the ones from Donkey Kong Country that just have oh, ridiculously yes. large caricatured eyes. Yep. <laughs> and they shoot pearls at you because they're mean. Yep. I liked how... riding the Merlin. Or the Merlin, Marlin. Like the little swordfish. Uh, what was his that name? was good. Espresso? No, that was the ostrich, I think. Yeah, yeah. I liked Espresso the Unguard. ostrich. On guard. On guard. Lambs swim. I need to look was... at a video. Hold on. They, they, they kind of, they flap their little jaws. Yeah. yeah. That sounds they, exhausting. Hold on. I mean, on. They, they burrow specifically so they don't have to worry about predators most of the time. But if they have to get away, they like quickly open and close their little clam go, shell. Womp, 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 womp. I want go, a universe. Womp, like a jellyfish. In which, oh, that's, oh, look at it go. <gasps> Isn't it fascinating? <laughs> look at it go. It's like biology hour. I'm, I'm here for it. <laughs> Imagine if this was the uh, standard of transportation in this undersea world is uh, your horses sometimes just decide to burrow. Yep. Yeah, makes sense. They're so weird. I think I hate it, actually. <laughs> the it's little so flop cool. flop, the flop flop jaws. It's kind of terrifying. Yep. <laughs> Why do they have lips? Hold on. Have you seen? Have you seen crabs yeah, they swimming? Have they have yeah. lips. Yeah. Crabs like doing a little like the little chip 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 flail. These look so cute. Yep. I'm just watching a video of a clam that's swimming now, and all I can think of is how it literally looks like those wind up teeth from like. It's like. Comedy like, ones that yeah. are the chittering. Yes, ones. yes. If I saw if I saw this thing, if I was swimming, first of all, and I could see in the water, and I saw what appeared to be a pair of lips coming at me, I would immediately exit the sea I, <laughs> at top speed, at like top a dolphin, speed. like a dolphin. <laughs> yes, I would simply eject myself <laughs> from the water through sheer force of will. I. Oh God, this is great though. <laughs> <laughs> 
if I if all I knew is that I needed a giant clam that, to, to like distract you for thirty minutes, my job as a DM would be so much easier. Look, you can hey, distract me with literally anything for thirty minutes at least once. I love I love the scene I'm... in Something Wicked where you were drunk. We're like Tizzy was drunk and Mikey was just like there there I'm going to make you a wind up toy. Just yep. just like sit sit quietly for a little bit. When I literally broke the thing that yeah. was sitting on my desk because I was using it as a fidget. <laughs> yes. That is a highlight reel, one hundred percent. It's literally just called Maggie Break Shit. <laughs> this is correct. I did do that. Um, you uh, you anyway, mentioned the big talk- googly eyes on the clam and Donkey Kong, and that's canon now, and I hate it. <laughs> can you can you give him some big old luscious lips? Yeah, oh God, like the like the giant clam style lips. Yep. You need some lips. I think that this clam Mwah. should also have a name. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, I love him. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> perfect. So there is a uh, an old Magic the Gathering bah. joke um, where they only have one joke set, and they actually do have clam folk as a as a creature type. Oh, good. <laughs> so I feel it's appropriate. I would be so uncomfortable if my bus had a face. I love how, as well, it takes away from the threatening nature of meat yep. and <laughs> Ethel. So it's like, they're You're super so badass, the knife, like, drawn in, real tough guys, and this fucking derpy clam. This clam them. is also here. <laughs> You're gonna see meat in a dark alley. And <laughs> you will only see him once. Yep. Um, or the best part is you see this tiny little fish who is actually the bait and the clam is just sitting there like a rock until they get too close. And then the nice little light trails by the clam shell and the clam shell opens up and just ends the person. Yeah. I don't imagine that Ethel got to stay a night for long with uh, this. This situation mentality. happening <laughs> with this, uh, this, this thing going on. This whole, this whole scam. Did Ethel clam... Merman is actually just the leader of a of a local gang at this point. Yep. <laughs> and it's a gang of three. It is meat, <laughs> it's just, it's just the them. fish, this clam, yep. and Ethel Merman. Yeah. <laughs> so that's Ethel's what she's gang. doing now. Ethel's gang. Did the clam yeah. lose her the night job? No, I think that was probably neat. Yeah. Probably neat. <laughs> yeah, it's, I feel like it would be hard to bring a fish with a knife anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Especially on land. But um, you know, zero, you know, zero you know, out of ten. You know, you know. Um, what am heads I doing? or tails for what am this I equipment? Doing? How does tails. this even work? Warhammer. Good. Uh, heads or tails? I mean, that's kind of clericky. Uh, tails again. How do we feel about scale mail? Because I am anti-monarchist. I mean, scale mail for a literal at the scale for a literal the literal fish. How would that work? That I guess you could just like count it as like arm, like yeah, it's just natural armor. Natural armor. Yeah. Heads or tails again. Tails. Always uh, vote the caribou. What kind of a simple weapon? Um, what are we thinking? Another uh, knife. Does everyone just have knives? Yes, everyone has knives. Just everyone has knives. <laughs> have you met us? Good. You've you've had this disgraced knight become a gang leader, so everyone just has the same knife now. They have to share. Yep. <laughs> yeah, this is accurate. But but uh, um, meat is the one who gets it most often because like you don't you don't try to take anything from meat. Meat will stab you. It's meat's day with the knife. We don't we don't fuck with meat on no. meat's knife day. No, we figure out how to grasp, and honestly, we've all been afraid of them since. <laughs> <It's> true. <laughs> we taught a fish how to hold something, and, and it, it was we, a mistake. We shouldn't have. We regret this. <laughs> I feel like this, like, there's some sort of dynamic where Ethel will eventually get just displaced by Meat in the gang as the gang no, leader. No, never. <laughs> no, because Meat loves Ethel. Meat loves Ethel like a dog loves a person. Yeah, but like, stabbier. I imagine that that's yeah, that's about where the intelligence level I would say is. Yeah. So, but like, if, ha- if this person is canon, they're from the Deep Drifts. What what is their like motivation in life? Are they trying to get to the top of the criminal hierarchy of like the, the continent, under, the just world? Just vibing, my guy. Just vibing. Just vibing. <laughs> Got this clam that's that takes me places. Got a 
Got a pet that will stab for me. Just vibing. <laughs> what else do you need when you've got a pet that will stab for you? Nice. Have you seen the, this video of a dog that has a knife? I just, I, that's all I've been thinking about. <laughs> I can't stop thinking yeah. about the knife, Kenku. We can, uh, I feel like I should not, no longer be allowed to create characters if most of them are just going to end up being incredible knives. Nice. <laughs> just knife related in some way. There's always a knife. To... I'm sorry, you your character like, creation has been revoked. That's a creative challenge, though, at the same time, because that, that can be like Alina one week is like, all right, Maggie, we need to no make knives. a character. No knives. No knives this week. No association no to knives. knives. No okay, knives. Okay, fine. None. Then it will be a child. Yes, correct. <laughs> those are the two well, genders. Those are the two knife genders. And child. Knife and child. Correct. <laughs> And for our more gen for our gender fluid characters, they're both yes, um, both knife knife children, both knife these and good child. knife children, children of the knife. Good, good. But, uh, I can't do sushi. I have soup on. What's happening? I'm making potato soup for the hurricane. Ooh! Because I'm from the south, and when it gets below seventy degrees, I need you gotta to make some soup? potato soup. That's yes. fair. That's fair. Is it is it like a potato leek, like it with some bacon in there and some cheddar? Yes. Fuck it yeah. is now. Um, <laughs> I have some plans to do after we get off here. Actually, you know what? I don't like the sand. Let's just have deep sea with meat. Can we have some. Can we have some action lines. <laughs> do we do that? Do you guys do action lines in the show? Oh, oh, do we do action lines? I just think that this is this listen. screaming. <laughs> this one? So, what is it? Which is friend, the clam which friend sentient? Absolutely. Oh, Are yeah. you kidding me? Okay, yeah, so yeah. I can speak like common? Well, not while someone's inside of it, but yeah. <laughs> Someone is inside its mouth. <laughs> Am I wrong? Uh, no. You would have a hard time if someone was using your mouth as transportation. I'm gonna, this is a bad method. Roll a d100. Also, now we know how clams swim, so you know that the person inside the clam is just like, oh, fuck, ah, oh, ah, oh. as the clam ooh, just ow, flops ooh, around. Ow, ooh, ow. Well, the alternative is that it's a kink, and I don't want to go there. That's oh, weird. God, what? It's just a weird, kinky clam. Am I wrong? No. Should it be said? Also, no. <laughs> Eventually, eventually, someone, someone is going to ask about this clam. <laughs> what is the, the one thing this clam has to fear? God. <laughs> Clams only fear God. Clams only fear God? I don't know. No, clams have no fear of God. I said it so seriously, but I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> I meant as a character, but I, I guess clams do fear God. <laughs> Do they even have brains? They don't have brains, do they? This one has uh, googly eyes and lips. I think we are past. I don't know. It's a it's a D and D thing. They, their only fear that is, is otters. Correct. Yes, that is correct. correct. Yes. I would like to imagine that in a clam based universe, though, then like their version of like a great evil one would be an otter. Yes. <laughs> so the is that why the clam joined the gang <laughs> is to protect itself from otters? <laughs> yes. You think the clam had a choice? It's hard on these streets. <laughs> it's hard being a clam. It's hard being a clam. Clam gang violence is on the rise. <laughs> oh, there's a pun in there. If only I wasn't so fucking stupid. <laughs> oh, oh. No negative self-talk. I can't do puns. Show. <laughs> oh, Listen, you ought to be careful with this. You know what? You can't, oh. you can't clam up. You just gotta, you gotta no, roll with I'm it. No, I'm not smart enough for puns. Even if the jokes are salty. <laughs> yeah, I mean, even if it's, really you know, not. Even if you're watered down. Look, look, Maggie, you just gotta regroup her here. <laughs> yeah. I'm don't, gonna Google fish puns. Fish puns. <laughs> fish don't be shellfish, puns. Just let it flow. Look, I, I think we've all learned the moray it, of the story. It's official. Yeah. You uh, ought to believe us. I'm leaving the show for us. <laughs> <laughs> I was um, trying to make speed lines. <laughs> roll a d100. <laughs> okay. Not you, yes, Meta. Meta. You can't do this. <laughs> Meta Geeky, so accept puns for the halibut. 
is excellent. No. Good. Nice. Good. 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 Uh, you got a wow, sixty-six. Hell yeah, sixty-six. Uh, Hell we yeah, indeed. Of, that feels like a joke, but it's quirks. just a number. Yeah. Ooh, I don't I like this list, and I think I'm gonna rewrite it because I'm on a mission this from seems Pat. like a, a weird thing. <gasps> I love the hovering eyebrows. Ethel Moray, Mor Merman is on a mission from Cod. Oh God! They're they are is a it, cleric. Is it the Cod Father that they they the Cod Father? They owe, <gasps> they, owe, yes. they owe a debt to the Cod Father. The Cod Father. <laughs> their time in the service. Oh man! This clam. <laughs> Is also, making... is this clam really big, or is this person <laughs> roughly the size of a thumb? I think this is a real big clam. <laughs> that is also I... a Muppet. I think that this Muppet. needs to eventually be a Muppet. When we have a budget, <laughs> I will have this clam oh made god. of a felt, I swear. Oh my god. <laughs> you uh... think the bits are bad now? Just wait till I have a fucking a Henderson department. <laughs> please, please no. Please. <laughs> Sorry, Jim Henson department. Trust in cat. Um, this is considered a flaw, but uh, they got uh, sixty six is merciful on my. Oh, okay, list. okay, I like that. that I like makes that. sense. Like they gave mercy to meat, and they gave mercy to whatever the clam's name is. Uh, yeah. Does the clam have um, a name? Uh, pearl. No. <laughs> <laughs> you don't deserve one. <laughs> I just can't think of a name that quick. Hold on. I, was, I, look I, up said, clam I said pun. Pearl. Pearl! But that's that's oysters. pretty good. But I think Pearl is good. And she looks like a pearl. Is... A pearl. I mean, I think, yeah. Look oysters, at those but, oh, eyelashes. Well. Okay, I, it's I just... the wrong, it's the wrong phylum, but like, whatever. Uh, it's part of, it's for the joke. Who cares? <laughs> I looked up clam puns, and I shouldn't have, but I got this really good picture that everyone has to see now. Oh, good. Okay, don't climb up. Share them out. I'll... <laughs> I'm not I'm trying allowed to, remember to the joke that my friend bodily harm on people anymore. <laughs> well, there we go, Ethel Merman. Ethel Merman. I, I, I like Ethel, Ethel Merman. Merman. I like Ethel Merman a lot. Uh, to be fair, I like meat and pearl more than I like Ethel. <laughs> I agree. Ethel is acceptable, like Ethel. but the other two make this picture. Ethel is like that silent, strong bond that holds a group together by like being that kind of unifying force. Yeah. As where meat and pearl are the just the crazy on the out. Meat and edges. pearl. I love that that Ethel Merman started off as a skeleton joke, but they are actually the normal one in this group. <laughs> yes. They are. <laughs> um, here's the clam picture that I can't stop seeing in my head. Oh no! Oh when no! I tried to find clam puns. All right, hit me. Hit me it's so just hard, clam you me to the pearly gates. It's just a shrugging clam. That's Merle. all. I Merle. just think it's important. I put it in the Twitch chat if you want to see it. <laughs> Ethel Gee. Merman, everybody. The undersea mobster in a, in a three-person gang. I like how they're a cleric, too, in all this. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Somehow. Oh, oh, I forgot yeah. the clothes. I was going to make some Meet glows. the muscles, obviously. No, totally. Believe in the Codfather, and he shall provide. What am I doing? What is what is happening with my? Oh, there we go. Ooh. Ooh. And the clam also have a little a little dangly. <laughs> Just like a tape on one. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Just to fit in. They taped one on. Yeah. The... Yeah. Pearl needs one too. This is the anglerfish gang. <laughs> Oh. Gangler fish, gangler fish, gangler fish. We're there. We're done. We're there. We now We're have there. nothing left to add to this. <laughs> we got there. We got there. <laughs> gangler God. fish. Whoop. Is it the gangler fish gang or just gangler fish? That's the name like of the gang. Fish. The name of the gang is gangler fish. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You don't fuck with the gangler fish, eh? No. <laughs> Or did you say gangler? Ganglerfish. Yeah. Ganglerfish. Gangler. It's, it's pun. Yeah. Get it? They like puns. They really do. <laughs> I am imagining that they're also just very, uh, like, West Side Story, like, snapping at you while they fix their hair kind <laughs> yes. of vibes. Yeah, none Getting of them have hair. Just, like, smoothing, <laughs> smoothing down the fish scales. <laughs> oh, Meat is just using goodness. his teeth to sharpen the knife. 
constantly. Gangler fish, everybody. We're there. We're done. That's all that needs to happen today. I quit today. <laughs> I'm going back to bed. <laughs> Nothing better than this can happen. I, uh, thank you for having me on the show, folks. I, I, thank you for joining us. Any, any experience in which I get to laugh is a good experience, so thank you. I like also how the name Ganglerfish sounds like a corporate like kickball league name. Yes. Yeah. yeah this is the Ganglerfish. Also do. Oh man. Oh man. <laughs> okay. Well, that was great. Thanks for joining us today, McRae. These are underwater. They are. Oh, we are deep got underwater. It in under the wire. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Shore, you could say. In the, in the eleventh hour. Shuffle oh more man. <laughs> Don't be salty. This is, this is for us. I'm not smart enough for puns. <laughs> look, look. These these puns are coming in in dibs and dabs. <laughs> Listen, sometimes you tip the scales. Yep. And you just have to go where I'm, the way you take you. I'm leaving. You've been you've been submerged. <laughs> this has been a hurricane of puns. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we had the eye for it. That's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> I'll keep going. I, I, you have to stop I hate you both. I'm gonna. End the stream. I'm just gonna end the stream. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Thank you. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for we're sorry. Out with us. We are. Thank you, and we're sorry. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Bye. Bye.